Today I'm going to show you how to put a heart rate monitor on Chloe. I start by soaking the ends of the belt in water and then I put the gel on the ends of the belt that are going to be next to the horse's body. Both soaking and use of the gel improves the communication between the transmitter and the receiver. It's going to be important that the paddles at the end of the belt lay close to the horse's body. Next I take the two straps that will be used to attach the belt to the harness and put them through the uh, slots that are available to hold them in place. Next I'm going to put the belt in place. First I put the paddle on the horse's right hand side and that's going to sit underneath where the harness saddle is going to be. I put the other side of the strap over the horse's back and you'll see as I move Chloe off to one side I've positioned the um, flat portion of the belt right underneath where the saddle is going to be. Now I'm ready to put the harness on the horse and you can see that I'm putting it on just like I normally would. It's important to make sure that the saddle sits over top of the paddle that I've laid on the horse's right hand side. And now I'm going to come around and use the strap that I attached early on to um, wrap around the saddle harness. The strap itself is made out of a neoprene fabric, so it's quite flexible and stretchy. Although today it's cold out, so I'm struggling a little bit to get it. Next, I'm going to attach the other paddle to the underside of the girth. And while you can't see in the video, all I've done is laid that paddle up against the, the belly band, strapped it using the neoprene, and then I'm going to buckle it in just as I normally would. Next I take the small transmitter and I'm going to snap it into the belt. I'm going to move Chloe out of the way so hopefully you'll have a better idea of how this fits in into the uh, belt. So I snap it in and then there's um, a velcro cover that goes over top of it and then finally I'm going to take the last neoprene strap and use it to attach the transmitter to the back band. If you've got extra belt, such as you would with a mini, you may have to double the belt over, but you can make it pretty darn tidy by using the neoprene strap. Now I'm checking the wristwatch device to see if I picked up her heart rate. Sometimes it takes a few seconds before the uh, communication session is established. Um, depending on how moist and how much gel you've used, that's going to affect the speed at which you actually pick up the signal. And you can see now that I've picked up her heart rate. And at this point, if I were hitching, uh, Chloe would be all set to give me her heart rate. Here's a close-up of the neoprene strap attached to the saddle and on the girth side. And there you can see where I've attached. 
as you can see, it takes very little time to put on a heart rate monitor and to be able to keep an eye on how your horse or pony is doing when you've got them hitched. Many thanks to my friend here, Chloe, who was so patient with me. And please excuse the mud. I didn't have a chance to hose her off before filming.